Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Warriors TV for Central League 2 action here at Oakview Park. It's Dennis Muir, take one and an athletic. The Warriors going to the game on the back of a four game one less run. For the last victory coming at fourth bank a few weeks ago, it was an athletic currently sits second and a point today will secure them a spot in the playoffs. But we are about to get underway. And away we go, ladies and gentlemen, ball played back. It's Lawrence forward now. Thompson looks to win it in the air, but misses and it's eventually cleared there by Barnes. To the back. Ball about to be swinging. There we go. Corner taken. And towards Douglas, he rides his highest and his header is over the bar. Good chance to early doors for the visitors. Now it's a throw. So Barnes will put the ball towards Goss and it's headed on and it's be a chance here for the visitors ball in the middle of the foot. Box and it's saved there by David Wilson but Warriors player down towards the halfway line and I believe it might be Calm Yates, number his former club but it's stopped out once again by Lewis Hunter. Bit of quick passing but it's intercepted once again, Calm Yates. Now it's Miller in towards James Lyon. The Warriors looking to have a chance now. James Lyon has a shot from range and it's over the target and that's another chance for the Warriors. Chris Johnson there. Johnson looking to get the ball towards the left hand side again. Loden. Bit of space in the left. It's the ball in. Goss tries to say yes, but James Lyon does enough to get ahead on it. And it's away out in the far side. Hunter. Wait, Wallace, number seven on the the right line puts the ball on his left foot for Goss as a header and it. That's the goal. And in lead for the first time against the Warriors this season. Ball was put in originally and Jameson get ahead in it. The clear. The ball goes into the far side. And Tony Wallace is there, puts the left foot cross in and Tommy Goss rises highest. The tall striker gets ahead in it and David Wilson has no chance to say it's been no and athletic one. And it's a bit of space to drive forward and he plays it off for James the line. Part of Fessaloni puts the ball over the top now for Corbett. Corbett keeps the ball in. Up against Smith now. Cuts back. Excellently. Puts the ball across and it's in the hands of Fleming. Darren Christie certainly at the corner a little bit higher, but good work by Corbett down the right hand side. Getting the ball off of Smith. Getting away from Smith and putting the ball in, but cross maybe not the best. And plays it off to Michael Miller. Miller driving at the middle of the park. Plays it back to Christie. Christie cuts back himself and ball across and it's stopped out and Annan get out of the way and maybe not falls to Miller has a shot come on it's maybe he's going to skip there a miss hit off his foot and that's a really a goal kick good chance to the Warriors he puts it back to Wedderburn and it's back with Mikey Anderson he's put the ball forward and it ends up with Darren Christie out in the right wing Corbett Corbett puts the ball in and it's deflected in the path of Anderson Anderson off to Christie. Christie feeling off the challenge, puts the ball in high. And it will rightly try to win it in the air, but it's comes to it. Oh! It's Robert Thompson. Oh! A couple of chances there for the Warriors appealing for the penalty in the box. It's a man down. Anderson. For the top is Christie heads into the middle part for Thompson now. Thompson keeps going. Thompson. It's a chance for the Warriors. Rounds the keeper. Oh, it's cleared off the line. So it's cleared off the line. Warriors just can't find the back of the net. Robert Thompson doing well around. Ex Warrior Greg Fleming puts the ball in. And it's been cleared off the line. I need to be cleared off the line anyway. I'm not sure about it. Robert Thompson. Arms out thinking, what is going on here? Oh, here. An Oakle View can take the throw on. If someone's awake, we're going to get a ball soon. Ball into the feet of Thompson and knocks it wide for O'Reilly. O'Reilly beats off the challenge and keeps going into the box, puts the ball across. Thompson off! It's another chance for the Warriors. Robert Thompson at the back post, heads wide. And but corner to be taken by Adam Brown. Ball in. Jameson rises highest and his header is over the bar. Adam Brown in the edge of the box, so is Ewan O'Reilly. Ball thrown in. 
Jameson's good to the box. O'Reilly puts the ball back in. Jameson with a header. That's a fantastic save by Fleming. Deny. Jameson is open by Thompson. It's away for another corner. Superb there. O'Reilly's put the ball back in. Jameson realises his heads are on. Well, maybe I saved the camera there, but. Thanks, Fleming. Can I touch him? Forbes, our man. Brown. Free kick taken. Oh, and Fleming gets low to get himself over that. And Top is Yates. I'll try to come for it and maybe put out now. This ball away for Chris Johnson. Enough chance here for Annan. Johnson. It's a better of Jameson. And he's shot just over Wilson, but he's able to get his hands up to save. Looks up, keeps going. Gets the ball wide for O'Reilly now. O'Reilly. Puts the ball in towards the bot. Right in. Oh, that's another chance for the Warriors. Takes a touch. And he gets the ball forward into the Annan half. Headed away by Swicklehurst. Over to O'Reilly though. And O'Reilly brings the ball down. Up against Barnes once again. O'Reilly. Puts the ball across. Across the back post. Thompson once again. Takes a touch with his foot and another one. And hits the ball back down the field to play. Crichton heads it on for Thompson. Thompson puts it away to O'Reilly. First time to touch it. O'Reilly. Puts the ball on his left, puts it back across. Crichton! Oh my god! Is it wide for Corbett now? Corbett looks to play the ball through. Cammy Graham, the substitute, the late, late sub. Can he influence anything late on here? Quick one, two. And the Forbes now. Forbes lines up for a shot. It's a shot, it's straight in the keeper. Balls to Crichton. And it's an outstanding block by a player of Scott Hooper. <laughs> Brown, ball in. Clayton rises highest again, and I think that'll be another corner for the Warriors. Greg, Greg Fleming throwing that ball in. The referee kind of puts it in. There's another ball there, ready to go, so don't complain. But corner to come in from Forbes. Ball in. Puts the back post. Clayton hits it down, and it's hooked away, and I think it'll be another corner. <laughs> Six minutes to stop his time played, and the Warriors get something late on. Brown, ball in. Hey, by Corbett still. Game over here. At Oakview Park, says we are now an athletic one. Warriors having plenty of chances, but just didn't make any of them count. And another frustrating afternoon for the two Maroon. And no one's in fight now, which is even more frustrating. Especially with the fact that a win would have saw them into more frustrating. Especially with the fact that a win would have saw them into playoffs today. But an athletic, of course, scored in the first half. Basic minute, Tommy Goss, number 10, rising higher, so across. But apart from that, didn't really find the Warriors too much. The Warriors have made it through those missed chances. But. Yeah. But of course, uh, Euro Riley named man of the match following his introduction at a half time break. And of course, a frustrating afternoon overall. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, we're back in action next weekend as we take on Elgin City. Sports Plus with local view half nine, named Danny State as usual. And the ladies sign in action uh, tomorrow, the 3rd of April, half through kick off, as we take on Glenn for Fissel. You can watch it live here on Warriors TV. Or Come on, look at you for. Well, thank you for watching, and we'll see you uh, two weeks' time as we take on Albion Rovers. Stephen, is, uh, was that a case of chances missed for you today? Aye, uh, I'm absolutely perplexed, perplexed Reece, of uh, how we lost that game of football. I really am. Uh, <coughs> I'm gutted they just shook hands with Peter Murphy there, and he's saying how we won that game. You know, he says the amount of chances. Clear cut chances, there must have been between 8 to 10 ch really clear cut chances, and um, I'm absolutely gutted for the boys because I thought first half it was it was kind of itchy peachy, maybe we just shaded it, but um, they obviously crossed the ball, which we should maybe get out and stop sharper, but um, crossed it to big Tommy Goss, and it's very difficult at 6 foot 7 at the back post. He's, he's had a good header, but 
I think that was their only shot and goal. I think that was their only chance in the whole whole game. Div didn't have one chance, uh, one save. Sorry. Um, so that's that's really disappointing. Um, but we came in at one 0 uh, one 0 doing, and you're saying to the boys, you know, show me some character, show me what you have got. We made a change with you in um, to come on and give an injection, and I thought they couldn't go at their half. Um, I thought we were absolutely outstanding, and, and like you say, yeah, I, I, I did ask for character, and it's just you're going just get the ball over that line. Obviously, Tom was rounded the keeper, and the boys cleared it off the line as well. It's so, so much fine lines, and we don't want to keep saying it, but it's a real tough one to take. And thoughts on the penalty kick as well? Well, where I was standing, it's, it's bounced out from Mikey Anderson to to hit cleanly, and he, he, he's volleyed it into the ground. But their players came late, and actually, he's actually hurt. He's, uh, he's he's injured his ankle ligaments, so it's either a penalty or a goal kick, um, and he gives a corner. Um, so I don't I don't know. What, I mean, there, obviously there's contact for his he's got ligament damage, um, and, and no made contact with the ball. So that's frustrating as well. But I genuinely think it was one of the days, and that's what their manager just said to me as well. You know, we, we absolutely dominated, and it wasn't just one you can come here as a manager and say, "Oh, I, we were the better team." We, we absolutely dominated the full match, and and it's it's just one of the days. Unfortunately, it's came at this time of the season where we're desperate for points. You can see the crowd getting right behind the players, and they they are. Um, they're they're desperate for us to get a goal, and they're cheering us on, and you can just feel that that. Um, you know, a wee bit of trepidation and a wee bit of worry for the crowd, and uh, eventually we just we just ran out of time. But it was just a, f- a really feel for the boys. And as you said, made a change at half time with James Lyon coming off, and you know you know really replacing him, and yep. he's went and won the wee bar man of the match and the sponsors man of the match. How how much does that show that uh, the impact he made in the game? He was brilliant. He was absolutely brilliant, and and you know we had we had our reasons. You know, you you and had a had a wee injury, and we'll be bringing him back. Played him against Kelty last week, and you know he just wasn't he maybe full flow. So we're trying to make sure that he's 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 going to be at his best. So we thought half time, let's get him on, let's get him running at them, and he done that. And he must have created four or five glorious opportunities. Um, I thought he was absolutely outstanding, and for only being on 45 minutes and getting man in the match, it kind of it kind of says a lot about his performance. Stephen, cheers. <laughs> you and you've came on. At half time for James Lyon and you've won both the wee bar man of the match and the sponsors man of the match. How good did it feel to get back in the pitch after having a injury the last couple of weeks? Uh, yeah, no, it's been uh, kind of a mixed day. I thought I'd done well when I went on and, and kind of the gaffer had said at half time, kind of need the wee in- injection of uh, kind of pace in the final third. Um, but I thought watching the first half we didn't deserve to be behind. And... Uh, I was just trying to get get on and kind of try and get us a cross in or a goal or something like that. Um, but I, I thought we were unlucky today, to be honest. And I, I guess it's just a, a case of chances missed as well because I, I feel it was 18 shots on on, uh, on goal we had and unfortunately couldn't find the back of the net. Aye, to be fair, I think it's probably been the, st- the story of our, our season, to be honest. Uh, kind of whenever you, th- you think you've got a chance to kind of get into the playoff, Positions it just doesn't <coughs> really seem to work for us, so um, frustrated. But no, I think you've got to take the positives out of a game like that. And you know, second half we uh, alone we had enough chances to win two games. So you know, I think um, go again next week. Three points. As you said, Elgin City. It's a obviously a long journey up. So uh, how how do we prepare going into into the game? Same as usual. To, uh, to be honest, uh, train Tuesday, train Thursday. Probably just try and get. Probably have a meeting on Tuesday about about today, but I don't think you can say too much in a game like that. I think it's just kind of um, forget about it and kind of move on because I think when you miss that many chances, you know, I, I don't think you can really pick apart it. I think it's just unlucky. So Elgin next week, it's you know we kind of it's getting to a stage where we need to get three points. So um, that'll be the aim, and we'll just go and try and do that.